What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another video. I'm super excited for today's video because it's something that I've been wanting to do for a very long time. So if you don't know this, I recently graduated from undergrad back in May and I wasn't able to attend my graduation, but I had prepared a speech for my graduation. So since I wasn't able to go to my graduation, I thought what better place to share the speech that I have written other than YouTube. I hope that this video makes you laugh, I hope that it leaves you inspired, and I hope that it encourages you throughout this new year of school and throughout the various seasons that you will face in life. I know it was very encouraging to myself and so if it encourages me then I bet it will encourage a lot of you out there and I hope that it does just that. And yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Um, Make sure you watch the whole thing and yeah. Now it's time to get on to the video. Hey everyone, my name is Brandy and I just graduated from Southeastern University. Wow, I can't believe the day is finally here. For those of you that don't know me, I have been a part of this extension site for a very long time. Almost since the very beginning, actually. You see, I had the honor of being a part of something that I like to call the year of the guinea pig. That's right, it was Pastor Jonathan's first year as our fearless leader, and both he and us students endured tests of many kinds. We have many stories that are both hilarious as well as concerning, such as the importance of not pooping on someone's porch. If you know, then you know. But that year, I have been selected as the chosen woman to experience the 892 name changes that would take place in the school. Now, I don't know if that's an accomplishment or more of an embarrassment. I guess that just means that I never wanted to leave the school or my mom's basement. So I just found it fitting to add an extra 10 years onto my education. But hey, I finally graduated. Whether it be four years or 40 years, I made it and that's all that matters. Now listen, most of what I previously said were exaggerated inside jokes, but I want you to lean into what I'm about to say because it is the most important part of my speech. And if you get nothing else, I want you to get this because this could literally change your life. You see, I failed elementary school. That's right, I failed my grade level every single year. They ended up sliding me through to middle school thinking I'd get help back then. But guess what? I failed middle school. <laughs> and they slid me through to high school thinking that I would get help back there. Now, you probably see where this is going. That's right. I failed high school, I didn't pass the graduation test, I didn't graduate with my friends. In fact, I had to spend the summer after my senior year in summer school being tutored for the graduation test. You see, I had to take the test three times and at the end of summer, on the third try, I barely passed the test. But I passed it enough to call myself a high school graduate. You see, college was never a thought for me. It wasn't even an option because I didn't think I could do it. In fact, I proved that I couldn't do it. I felt all of grade school. There's no way I would ever be accepted into college. And even if I was, there's no way that I would have passed college. Thoughts of doubt consumed my mind. I'm not smart enough. I'm not good enough. I'm a failure. College will never be something that I can do. And you know what? The thoughts that I had weren't wrong at all. In fact, they were right. I'm not smart enough, but God is. I'm not good enough, but God is. I am a failure, but not with God, not when he is in it. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And so I did. I began surrounding myself with people who believed in me. I had an abundance of people that spoke life into me, that tutored me, that pushed me farther than I ever thought I could go. And when I wanted to give up, they didn't let me. Just like 
God sent people to hold up Moses' arms, he will do the same for you. Because our God is a God that provides. He always comes through. And with God, a lot of hard work and the right people alongside us, there is no stopping what we can do. Now, I am the first and only person in my immediate family to graduate from college. I beat the odds. And not only did I graduate from college, but I spent my junior and senior years of college with straight A's and the Dean's List. I ended up graduating with a GPA of 3.49. That's just 0.1 point away from receiving honors. There is no limit to what God can do. I'm now in the seminary, and I just finished my first semester of grad school with straight A's and a 4.0 GPA. Now, if you told me years ago that I'd be standing here saying that, I never would have believed you. But I put in the work. I made it a priority to do something with the value of life that God has given me. And I'm here today because I graduated. I'm standing here to tell you, you are good enough. You can do it. Don't give up. You got this. Work hard. Follow your dreams. Believe it. See it. Achieve it. You can do whatever you want to do. You can do whatever you set your mind to. You can do it. Don't give up. You got this. Thank you. Peace out. Thanks for watching. I hope that that encouraged you. If you haven't already, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. If you know anyone that needs some encouragement or inspiration, please, please, please share this video with them because this video could help so many people all over the world. And so I hope that you wouldn't just hold on to it, but that you'd share it with those that are around you. That's all, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.